we're here in the Pepsi store. Um, this is birthplace of Pepsi Cola since 1898 in New Bern, North Carolina. This right behind me is like a little, I guess, concession stand. But throughout the store, it looks like a little museum and also like a retail store. Took a picture of the snack bar. There were just too many people coming and going to do any vlogging. But here you'll see a very beautiful and old world style snack bar. They serve various drinks of Pepsi Cola and popcorn. And then on the far left, you see a picture of the nitro. So basically it is a Pepsi Cola drink. It's just infused with a lot of nitrogen bubbles. You serve it ice cold and once immediately after opening it, you invert it and let the drink pour all at once. You're supposed to hear a unique sound coming from it and then drink it right away. So I did buy two flavors that they had and I'll be showing you at the end of the video. On the opposite side of the snack bar, there are several round tables. They are seated for two. And if you look on the table, you'll see that they're designed with the Pepsi Cola cap. Very cute. So here you can go ahead and order your choice of Pepsi Cola drink and some popcorn. Spend a few minutes to go sit down, eat, enjoy the view. You can see the town outside from the two large windows in the front and just have a relaxing morning, afternoon or evening. Further along the window, you'll see a cabinet full of Pepsi Cola merchandise. Most of the stuff here are on the go cups, plastic mugs and ceramic mugs. Look how cool the soda dispenser is. Oh, school. All right, so they have a bottle opener. And I guess this is where it dispenses the drink. It cost 10 cents at that time. So put your coins in there. And this is the release tab. I don't know what this is. Oh, your garbage, I guess. If you're looking for decorative items, here's a huge bottle cap you can go and hang on the wall. There's Mountain Dew ones. Different designs, bigger ones. I prefer the bottle cap, the Pepsi Cola bottle cap. Besides the vintage um, Pepsi, but look at this vintage cabinet. It looks like an old jewelry case. Got yeah, the design on the legs. The nice wood. The glass is not so nice. It looks like it's worn out, but it's a beautiful piece of furniture. And then behind it, it does look like a jewelry cabinet, doesn't it? You can see there's drawers that you can open. Can't go past this way. Beautiful though. And what are these? It has, it looks like it's made of metal. These are old. They're not for sale, they're just for display. And this cabin you can see here, the company who made it. Here's a youth size shirt, size small. It looks a little bit too big for Catherine. I like the design though and the color of the shirt. $11. Oh, okay. Is that the one on the wall here? Because I saw some sweatshirts here, but it says youth. Oh, maybe not. This looks different. Okay. Here are refrigerator magnets. Joe already got one of these. I prefer this. This is cute. I like this better. I don't know if we're gonna get one of these too. Do you like that one? We got that one. Yeah, I know. Look at this one. There's ooh, there's more here. Oh my gosh, I have a lot of cute things in the store. We love refrigerator magnets. I like this one too. Oh gosh. This is six dollars, so you gotta be careful of how much you buy. Here are some cool items. This one I was looking at first. 
so you have to put this in the bottle and then you pump it and it takes out the extra air and prevents the soda from getting flat it doesn't put air into the soda you just have to put it in before it gets flat so that's a nifty idea this one is a straw I kind of like the idea of drinking from the bottle and these are just um, ice trays that you can fit into the bottle it's skinny enough and long enough you can drop it right into the bottle and these are our soda can um, covers and this one oh I guess also this keeps it from going flat but for a can so cool ideas So this is what we're getting. We're getting a classic um, Pepsi Cola bottle, glass bottle. We're getting the t-shirt that I showed you and then seven of those glasses. We were gonna get two. They're like $2.75 each, but because I know it, I know every, everybody's gonna wanna use it in the house and they're gonna start fighting for it. So, <laughs> all right, so let's pay for this. Watch out. All right, go ahead. <laughs> we gotta make a big deal with this, right? <laughs> I wanna save the cap. There's your cap. All right, go ahead, take a sip. Stop recording. <laughs> Here's an overview of the vintage soda bottle opener. Can you believe it? A bottle of soda used to cost 10 cents. To get a better location of where this is, here's a picture of my mother-in-law standing next to the bottle opener. Everything just has this old world touch. All right, so this is how you use it. When you open the tab, listen for the sound of the nitrogen, listen from the can. And then it immediately invert the can and pour the full amount into the glass. So it looks like beer. <laughs> A lot of foam. Look at this vintage scale. So this was Watling Penny Scale, and it was donated by Dave and Joanna Davis and the McCarthy Square Pharmacy. Uh, that's pretty cool. Now what we have a home is just like a little scale you step on. This one's like a whole furniture. Turn knob to set. Oh, oh look. <laughs> it gives you up to fortune and weight scale. And then it even tells you like how much you should weigh. BMI. What about here? <laughs> All right guys, the store is closing, so I only had time to take a few pictures. Here's the scale again, and on the opposite side of the scale, you'll see the snack bar. Eating popcorn and drinking soda, we felt like we are at the movie theater without the movie. On the opposite side of the scale, you'll see a penny press machine. There are four different designs that you can use and make as a collectible. I love the design on the far left, where it has a big Pepsi-Cola logo. Taking a peek at the second room, this is the desk where we purchased our items. And in that cooler, you can go ahead and pick out your favorite cold drink, including the new nitro cans. Before we go, we're gonna go write our name in the book of Pepsi Cola and say that we were here. So mom's doing that right now. <laughs> Catherine wants to add her name to, to the Pepsi Cola book, to the roster. <laughs> this place is cute. We came here kind of late. It's already like a quarter after five and it closes at six. So they're just like closing down now. Hi guys, as promised, I'm going to show you the two nitro cans that we bought in the Pepsi Cola store in North Carolina. So there are two flavors. One is vanilla draft cola and the other one is just the Pepsi draft cola. So these are infused with nitrogen oxide from what I understand. And so as soon as you open it, you're supposed to immediately pour it into the glass. It's supposed to foam up real high, kind of like a beer and then serve it that way. So that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna try these out right now. All right guys, my son is going to go and open these two cans of nitro and see how it's done. 
All right, so it looks like what you have to do is just open it and immediately pour it into the cup. I've had uh, Starbucks cold brew nitro before, and theirs is different. They ask you to shake it, but since this is being a soda, I don't think that's a good idea. So let's give this a go. Oh, there it goes. We almost spilled it, actually. <laughs> oh, it's not as much fizz as I thought. Huh. Okay. All right. You supposed to drink it or what? <laughs> okay. Hmm. It looks like a beer, actually, right? The foam on top. Mm -hmm. It's very smooth. Um, not what you expect if you um, if you're used to regular cola. You know, you expect that bite, that sting uh, mm -hmm. when you drink it. Uh, this, um, since the bubbles are a lot smaller, it's uh, a lot smoother. So you don't. It, it, it almost tastes like you're drinking flat soda. Okay. All right. But with a lot of fizz still, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. All right, so let's try the other one. Right. You heard that sound, right? Look at that. You can see the, like, um, with Guinness beer, you can see bubbles flowing down instead of floating up. And you can see that here in the, uh, the nitro cola as well. That looks pretty good. Mm. Here, show the cup. Oh, it's good. Oh, which flavor was this? The vanilla? This was a uh, vanilla. Look how foamy that one is compared to this. All right, so it's been, what, a couple minutes? The foam has subsided. And that does look creamier. All right, so out of the two, you like the vanilla draft cola, right? Yeah, the vanilla is really good. I like okay. the, uh, that vanilla, nice vanilla taste to it. Okay. All right, so let me go ahead and I'm going to taste it. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and taste it, and Catherine wants to taste it too. So which one do you want to try first? I think that's the vanilla, right? Mm hmm I'll try the regular draft. Hmm. This smells like a cherry soda. I don't drink soda. It it, like well, if I do, it's soda. diet soda. So to me, this is really this sweet. Like it. It's smooth, like you said, but it's sweet for me. I don't feel like it. I don't know what to think about it, but it's okay. It's okay? All right. Go ahead and try that. We're going to swap. And try this. Ooh, it's still foamy. I like this one mm. more. Oh, I like the vanilla. I like this one. So everybody has a preference. All right, guys. So there you have it. We have the night show soda cans from Pepsi Cola. We finally opened it after almost a month and a half, and this tastes delicious. I would recommend the vanilla one. Um, if you like just regular Pepsi, this is fine, but this one really stands out. So as promised, this is my Pepsi Cola video. I know it took some time to edit and to post, and I hope you guys continue to like my videos. And if you do, please like and subscribe to my channel, and that's going to help my channel grow. Catherine, do you have anything to say? Okay. All right. Have a good night, guys. Bye. Bye.